Hey everybody, I am here in Wailuku Town at the corner of Main and Market Street with Governor David Ige. He's running for re-election this year and we're going to walk story. Thanks for joining us, David. Aloha, I'm glad to be here. Could you tell us a little bit about your background? What is your connection to Hawaii? What got you involved in politics in the first place? Sure, you know, I'm, uh, I'm the fifth of six boys, uh, grew up in Pearl City. Uh, so my family uh, moved to Pearl City in the very first increment. Um, first modern increment in Pearl City. Uh, so, you know, large family. My father was a steel worker. Um, you know, he was a member in the 100th uh, Battalion for 42nd during the war. But, you know, uh, my mom's a, a dental hygienist. Uh, so, uh, growing up in Pearl City was a terrific opportunity. Uh, you know, when I was young, it started as mostly cane fields. And then it, it became what it is today, which is 30,000 or so residents. So you're running against Representative Hanabusa. Mm -hmm. What do you think separates you from her? Well, I, I do believe that it is about uh, the experience um, of, of being governor and being able to uh, serve in the last three and a half years. You know, I have a real record of accomplishment. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, leadership is more than just uh, criticizing things. It's really about engaging the community, uh, working with stakeholders, really finding solutions that work and then implementing them. So now let's talk about that. What, what would you say are, are some of your three greatest hits, your three biggest accomplishments in the last term? Well, you know, I'm really proud of what I've been able to do for public schools. I think that um, public schools are the biggest, most important responsibility of, of our state government. Uh, so I think we have a new blueprint. Uh, early college where we are delivering to each and every high school uh, across the state the opportunity to take and earn college credits I think is a fabulous opportunity and you know, I'm excited because the first cohort of students actually uh, graduated with their Associate of Arts degree before they actually uh, completed high school so you know I'm, I'm excited about that opportunity you know we are able to promise and complete uh, air conditioning three uh, 1300 classrooms all across the state and you know, we have a new uh, superintendent, new blueprint that really talks about empowering schools, uh, making sure that uh, those closest to the children uh, can control and develop the curriculum that um, best meets their needs. Mm -hmm. And then so going forward then, what would you say are some of your priorities that you would like to have addressed at the Capitol? Well, you know, I, uh, I was so fortunate uh, to be governor when Hawaii became the first state uh, in the nation to host the World Conservation Congress. Uh, and I launched the Sustainable Hawaii Initiative, which uh, really is about transforming our economy, uh, getting off of fossil fuels, and really being 100% uh, clean, renewable energy. Uh, as part of that, it's about managing and protecting our watersheds. It is about um, managing the ocean, near ocean waters, mm -hmm. uh, doubling food production, increasing biosecurity so we can keep invasive species out, right. uh, and really um, do a better job of attacking them once they, they get introduced into our environment. Mm -hmm. um, I also saw that your office recently released a report for affordable rentals. Absolutely. And that's a big concern here on Maui. Can you give us some of the highlights about what the status is on Maui, what some of your goals and sure. actions are? You know, I think homelessness and housing is connected. So yeah. clearly, um, our commitment has, to, has been to develop and complete homes and affordable homes focus. Um, and homelessness, you know, for the first time, we've had two consecutive years of reduction in homelessness statewide. Uh, here in Maui County, it's almost 25% uh, less than two years ago, and, th and th that's been a tremendous effort. County, state, federal agencies working together, uh, trying to find ways to um, leverage our resources and deliver programs. Uh, in terms of affordable housing, it really is, the report focuses on state, county, and private lands uh, that are prioritized uh, and ready to go. So we've uh, identified lands that uh, would be um, zoned and appropriately entitled already. You know, I was here uh, two weeks ago uh, for a bill signing uh, to acquire the Front Street Apartments. Hopefully we can do that to keep it affordable. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also uh, are looking at an affordable rental project at Lea'ali'i uh, on the Haina. And so we, we're doing a number of uh, projects making state lands available, working with private sector developers uh, finding way to create affordable rentals uh, all across the state. Mm -hmm. So something that's come up recently here on Maui 
is this uh, mining of central Maui inland sand. And uh, it's kind of this issue of who gets to determine what's sacred, uh, what should be developed. And I know that's kind of the same thing that's happening at Mauna Kea with the TMT. How do you balance the needs of uh, cultural practitioners, environmental concerns, and then also people that want to have scientific progress? Well, I do think that, as you are aware, you know, our co constitution for uh, ceded lands, you know, it does have a process. The, the Board of Land and Natural Resources is really empowered to weigh the balance that's required. Uh, as you know, there are five trust purposes, uh, education. Uh, I mean, obviously, the Constitution also requires us to protect uh, traditional and customary rights. Uh, and so, you know, we are working really hard to balance those as an administration. You know, uh, water is a big issue, and um, our Water Commission uh, did the first um, award of uh, water rights. We had the biggest water restoration ever in the history of the state of Hawaii in the uh, East Maui watershed. And it is about uh, protecting all the uses. You know, we want to support agriculture. We want to ensure that the native Hawaiians, uh, Hawaiian homesteading program has access to water. Uh, it is about restoring uh, stream flow mm -hmm. so that um, taro farmers downstream can get the water that they need. Uh, and then it's really about drinking water. So uh, I, I think that that uh, decision was the perfect balance. I mean, you know, what is perfect, but it really um, put a stake in the ground about being committed to restoring water to every stream, um, making sure that we have water reserved for agriculture yeah. and those priority uses. Uh, and then really, you know, it's, it's about working with the community and identifying those things that make the most sense. Okay, really quick, Governor, I have to ask, are you logged into Twitter right now? Uh, I am not logged into Twitter, but I do but have a staff that does Twitter uh, on a regular basis, so, so we look we look forward to doing that. So, so you know your password? Yes, I do. It's okay. program on my phone. All right. Thank you for walking story with us, Governor Ige. Uh, remember to vote in the primary election August 11th, the general election November 6th. Aloha.